side of the International Criminal Court where this morning we delivered a letter that was endorsed by the entire Green Party of the United States supporting a full investigation of Israel for its war crimes against the Palestinians. I'm uh, proud to be part of this group uh, to present this letter. It's a, uh, incredibly important that um, Israeli leaders, Israeli military commanders be held accountable, that Israel as a state uh, be held accountable according to international law for the crimes it continuously commits against Palestinians. I think it's important that not only African leaders are being tried for war crimes, but especially the ones of the strong countries who commit the crimes, and Israel is one of them. I am here because it's important that, uh, as others have said, that there be accountability, um, enough with statements of outrage, but now we need an actual process to hold those responsible accountable for uh, the atrocities that are happening in Palestine. I'm here today because it's so important for us to build up institutions like the International Criminal Court. If we're going to end war, and that's what we need to do, we need to have institutions that can resolve conflict. So on the same day that the Green Party of the United States, after working on this for multiple months, passed, passed this decision to go forward with the ICC, John Bolton and the Trump administration said they're going to threaten the ICC oh. with economic sanctions, their investigators, their prosecutors, their judges, undermining the ICC. Members here today helped me to uh, get this letter adopted by the Green Party of the United States, which I wrote. Uh, it came from my heart. I am a, a peace justice advocate. I believe that we must hold all war criminals uh, to account in courts of law. I'm here to express as part of this group my international dissent about the whole idea of using violence as a means of gaining both resources as well as additional lands and territories. That is for the past at this point in time. We need to be looking forward to a future that allows for us to have peace in the world. Our biggest threat is from ourselves and not moving towards peace, but still having militarism as a major way of resolving conflicts.